Ah, der Plan ist nicht runter. Finally, the fuel cell has reached Berlin. Johann Huber has been trying to bring it here for months for an American company that wants to bring fuel cells onto the German market in a big way. Trotzdem danke. <laughs> the delivery slip shows the shipment has arrived. Finally arrived after what seemed like a wild goose chase. The fuel cell was built partly in the United States, partly near Munich. It's arrived in Berlin with a three-hour delay. What was the problem? Flashback to the morning. Huber sweeps the spot where the fuel cell will be installed. The building, called the House of the Future, will house Germany's research ministry. The fuel cell will provide electricity for a thousand people. It should be here in 15 minutes. It's still seven kilometers away. At 10 o'clock, the fuel cell still hasn't arrived. Huber remains patient. His bosses from the US are waiting too, along with people from the ministry. Engineer Huber explains that a fuel cell produces very clean electricity. Theoretically, you could stick your head in the chimney or the exhaust pipe if they weren't so hot. Huber? <laughs> Germany developed this technology decades ago. But others are making money from it. For example, these Americans from the fuel cells energy company. So far, the technology has had a tough time in Germany. A fuel cell pays for itself in five years, a gas engine in just three. It's different in the US. The deployment of fuel cells is a little bit faster in Asia and in the US than here in Europe. Um, this happens to be the first um, fuel cell that we're actually installing in a building here at the center of, of Berlin, um, which we hope to be the beginning of a lot of other things uh, to come. The ministry wanted to have a fuel cell in this building to show a lot of people that come through here that fuel cells are an efficient, clean way of producing power. Okay, then I look for the truck. The unit here will generate 250 kilowatts. Facilities 20 times larger are already common in parts of Asia. Why the difference? In South Korea, it's very strong. South Korea really promotes them. There it's very profitable to buy a fuel cell. Most other technologies are no longer permitted. For example, you can't use a gas-powered generator in South Korea's big cities anymore. It's similar in parts of the US. California has very strict emissions regulations. He stopped somewhere, I don't know where. I can't believe this. Huber is getting nervous. But then he sees what he's been waiting for. That's our fuel cell. <laughs> the truck is at the other end of the main train station. Can one of your guys jump in the car and go direct him here? It turns out the driver is a Pole who can't speak German or English. He's been driving around Berlin for hours. Suddenly he appears, frazzled he's come over on foot, while Huber is looking for him everywhere else. We find the truck, but not the driver. Please, please can you, please can you call the driver? He must uh, go very fast to his truck. But the Polish driver is standing just 50 meters away. He does understand hand gestures. Johann Huber's fuel cell has finally found its way through the German capital. Ten minutes later, it's on the home stretch. These may be the images of the beginning of the fuel cell era in Germany.